So my name is Fred Reller and I lead Human Resources here at McKesson. How many of you guys know what Human Resources is? Wow. What do you think? Help people with healthcare. Okay. We help people with healthcare, yes. So let me, let me help out a little bit. So what Human Resources is primarily responsible for doing is we help people get jobs here. And as you're walking around today, you're going to have an opportunity to meet a lot of our employees. And my hope is, is that you'll take an opportunity to ask those employees a few questions around what it is that they do. Outstanding. How about reading? <laughs> Who doesn't like any of those things? <laughs> <All right. laughs> Mr. Benson in the background. That's good, Steve. How many floors are in this building? <gasps> Five. Exactly right. Oh, my God. I went to school, I got a degree from Clayton State, networking degree. All right, work, work. And um, what do you do for my test? I am a technical software engineer, which means that I write programs, troubleshoot programs for hospitals and doctor's offices. I'm actually more, I actually run projects now within the organization, so I've actually been promoted a couple of times since I've been here. One thing for you boys that I just want you guys to realize is whatever your dream is, I want you to pursue it. Whatever you're passionate about, always go after it. Don't let anybody take that from you. That means that you gotta make real good choices. I told somebody that I didn't want to work with computers. The first thing they told me that I wasn't gonna do it. They said that it would never be done, I was never gonna accomplish that, I didn't know enough, so I need to just do what everybody else do, um, does. So at first, I let that get to me and I just did what everybody else did. But my father always told me, always shoot for the moon, always. He said, if you don't reach the moon, you'll always be able to touch the sky. You're interested in doing anything in technology? You're going to need a college degree, right? And you need to have some ideas. And a company like McKesson may hire you. Maybe one day you'll get a chance to work here. And you, as you're doing We have some robots that package medications so that it has the name of the medication and the dosage of the medication with a very special barcode. Now this little cart is way, way, way cool. This is what the nurse will push into the room and it has the computer program on there to make sure the barcode's facing out. And then as soon as you put it up, if you'll just take a step back so the guy behind you. And then what this, what this robot does, oh Rex here, he is almost 100% perfect. We say 99.99% efficient. He's going to start moving and he's going to take all the medicine off the door and put it into an envelope. And then these envelopes go upstairs to those floors. So the nurse come over here. He put it on the window. It's going to load into the envelope. And then it's going to come over here. Yes. He's the president. No. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> so I want all you guys to say hello and give him a prodigy handshake. do two things. I'm going to tell you a little bit about healthcare. We're going to talk more about the industry of healthcare and see what you've learned this morning. And then we're going to talk more about McKesson. Okay? Those are the two things we're going to do. Sound like a plan? Yes. All right, yes. I know you're from Scotland. Nope. Australia. <laughs> England. England, very good. Okay, gentlemen, listen. So, what business is McKesson in? Healthcare. 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 
Okay? And what do we do for health care? What does McKesson do for health care? Technology for hospitals. Very good. Is this Here's an example of some of the technology that McKesson produces. Okay? Anybody know what this is, what we're looking at right here? A spine. Know? What did you say? A spine. Absolutely right. This is a magnetic resonance image of somebody's spine. So you see this right here, this thing that looks like a snake? Yes. That's somebody's spine seen from the inside. Anybody come on. Hmm? Tell me, who can tell me some of the people or companies or organizations that are involved in healthcare? Who's part of healthcare? Yes. Patients. Patients, very good. Yes. The nurse. Nurses, very good. Doctors, yes. Hospitals. Hospitals, yep. What's an insurance company? What's an insurance company do? Why, why do we have health care? Yeah. So to illustrate that, and to illustrate what McKesson does, we're going to have a little game. I need three volunteers. Nukari, you are the guy who has the warehouse. You have a big old warehouse, and you keep the medications in your warehouse until they need, they're needed by the doctor. You're now known as Dr. Chauncey. You are a doctor. Okay? And then I monitor Mr. Patty is the president. And he is going to say a few things to you right now. So please give a round of applause. Good boys. Always set goals, always strive for those goals, and never let anyone hold you back. So, what I hope and wish for all of you is three things. One, is that you'll continue to pursue your education, which is absolutely most important. Two, think of yourselves as leaders. Act like leaders. Be a role model. And three, set goals and pursue that dream and don't let anyone hold you back. And I can absolutely guarantee, as I stand here today, that if you take those three thoughts and incorporate them into your life, that you'll be working and leading a company as big and as successful as McKesson or succeeding in whatever your dreams might be. So, on behalf of Dr. Lancer and the C. Barry Prodigy Project, we would, we would like to thank the cancer, Mr. Pat Blake, and just thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. You have really changed me. <laughs> I feel like a man. <laughs> Right. Oh, why are you not afraid to be close to the Lord's right?